we're about to hit the slopes here in the Krimmel region in the Alps and about to get really interesting because this is Willa's <laughs> first day at ski lessons via me, aka a very novice but experienced, if you can have those two words in the same sentence, skier. It's been several years since I've skied, so we're gonna have a fun time today, hopefully not having too bruised of a tailbone by the end of it. I'm gummy skating. Come here. Watch where you're going! <laughs> oh crap. It really could have been bad, so we're so grateful it was not Willa's safe. <laughs> Willa's got some hot chocolate and I've got germ canoodle and then this is with like a vanilla sauce. This is Europe's largest waterfalls. It's pretty incredible. It's over three different stages and it's just shy of 400 meters tall. What are we getting? Skis and boots. <laughs> You're doing awesome! How are you feeling? Happy. Are you ready? Are you gonna do it with daddy's help? No? All by yourself? You can do it. We're at this little bunny hill before we head up to the big slopes and Willa is really excited. Let's go see how this first part goes. And let's be honest, I don't know who's more excited, Willa or me. I'm gonna be watching from the sidelines because I am pregnant and although I did attempt tobogganing yesterday, it's been far too long since I've gotten on skis. So now is not the time. <laughs> this is intense. Are you having fun, Willa? Yeah! Yeah, oh boy, boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but boy oh boy am I ready to watch her just turn three-year-old hit the slopes. Woohoo! Oh my gosh! Woohoo! Maybe I'm just a biased parent, but that was Willa's first time ever on skis, and I feel like she crushed it. Okay, <laughs> Willa, Willa, eyes on me, come here. <laughs> you did it. Is that fun? Okay, <laughs> now say, Daddy, go down there, and I'll ski to you. Okay, are you ready? What do you think? Oh, this is harder than I remember it being. My <laughs> ankles are already like on fire because I'm just like trying to like move around. It's definitely good we came here first <laughs> before heading out. <laughs> yeah, for her she's doing really well. I think it'll be a little hard for her to uh, not want to go out on her own because she's independent like that, like someone else. Who did she get that from? Bringing out the poles. Well, she can go fast. <laughs> We're working on this slowing down. I've decided to sit myself down on this chair and just relax and enjoy being a pregnant woman. This is pretty fun for me to just be able to relax and watch Tanner take the reins on this one. Tanner's such a good daddy and Willa is truly having a blast, albeit she just biffed it. But hey, the girl's got the confidence, she wants to do it herself. So I think it's a good thing that Tanner's letting her try it by herself. 
even though there's a crash bound to happen. This area is here in Crimmel. It's free, it's just right next to the city center actually. So we ended up booking our ski rentals at Intersport and then we just came right up here. So aside from the ski rentals, we haven't paid anything. And it's nice, there's chairs to relax on, there's a water closet, AKA a porta potty. Not like the most high class, but hey, cannot complain. It's free and it's available, which I've already had to use being pregnant. I swear that is an hourly occurrence. There's a lot of kids here doing a variety of things. Some are skiing, some are tobogganing, some are on these really cool sleds. Just a fun environment. Mama, I want these off. Okay, and then what do you want to do? I will do this after. You want to ski some more later? Yeah. We got the car sled, which is more attractive than skiing for Willa. What's this for? To go down the hill, to drive it. Well, as of right now, Willa told me that she's done skiing, so it might just be me doing a couple of rounds up on the slopes today. Either way, it's still been pretty fun, I would say. A little bit harder than I was expecting. Honestly, I see like other parents with their kids, and I'm like, oh yeah, their kids probably learn pretty quick. And then with Willa, although she has still learned pretty quick, I'm just like, this takes a lot more patience and time than I probably think. Not that I was expecting for it to be like this one and done in half an hour you're ready to hit the slopes kind of thing. But still, it's really fun and we're glad that we're getting out here today. I'm pretty sure Willa's driving that one. Today is all about Willa and just having such a fun snow day. We don't have snow where we live in Germany, so we are enjoying this, embracing it. Especially with baby's due date less than two months away, we are definitely trying to soak in these moments and enjoy just the three of us. It's so crazy to even say that, although we're so, so excited for another baby to join. It's a little emotional to think that we are weeks away from never being a family of three, but it is just going to get better. Hey, crazy driver. What are you doing? Should we race? Are you ready? Her driving Let's is go. intense. Ready, set, go. Hopeless cause. Pregnant woman can't get down the hill. <laughs> My thing stuck. We were gonna race, but here I am at the top, and there they are at the bottom. We're going. <laughs> we're going very slowly. Oh crap! Only the right way to end. Well, the pink sleds are much better than the blue ones. I could not catch up with the darn and she was gone. Thank you, kind stranger from the Netherlands. Well, it was hauling so fast, she literally went through the mesh and out. I told you, the blue one. Oh, it, sucks. it wasn't just me, that makes me feel better. The blue one sucked. When I saw her go, I was like, crap. Yeah, my worry is she was. <laughs> I know. All the Luckily, way down. there wasn't a road. Was that fun? Were you going so fast? What happened to me when you fall? Yeah, I'm happy you're safe. Here is where Willa went over, and luckily she stopped, like here. Luckily, there's this whole field. I know it might look bad that I'm laughing, but the only reason I'm laughing is because we knew she was okay. And at that point, then it just becomes comical. But it really could have been bad. We're so grateful it was not Willa safe. And man, what an adventure. All right, this might be probably the most random thing that I've said ever in a video, but this weekend is kind of special for our car. Not only did the hatch to our Subaru start to like not open completely, the hydraulic systems completely failed, so it is a heavy brick to open, 
but it hit a milestone of uh, 140,000 kilometers, which is actually not that kind of special of a number when I think of odometer numbers for your vehicle because it's not like one, two, three, four, five, six, or 100,000, or like a flat number, but still, that's something that I'm interested to find out if anyone else has this weird kind of like desire to get a picture every time your car hits a milestone, whether it's like 10,000 miles, 100,000 miles, or like a unique arrangement of numbers. And ironically, that actually happened three times during our last visit to Utah. Because we didn't have a car, we were borrowing other people's cars, and so we happened to be driving several different cars during the entire trip. The first time it happened, I think we were in a car that hit 10,000 miles. The second time, it was in a car that hit 200,000. And then the third one, it hit 222,222 miles. So. Kind of fun, just side note, who else does this, or is it just me? All right, we're done with the kitty area. It's time to hit the real slopes. We're making our way up from the bottom near the little village of Krimmel, where we were at, and we're going up to Hoch Krimmel, or High Krimmel, which I believe is the closest ski resort um, up on this side in the Zimmertal area. Here you go, girly, you got it. Look at that smile! <laughs> Woohoo! Do you want to go again or how are you feeling? Should we go up again? Hey. Nice! Third time! Well, I'm at the point where I I really wish I could go skiing. I mean, I wanted to from the beginning, but now seeing them being here at a bigger ski hill just really makes me wanna go. I actually grew up skiing, and so when I was younger, my family would get season pass tickets to a nearby ski resort. That is one perk of growing up in Northern Utah. There are a lot of incredible ski resorts. So I grew up skiing, and then I actually switched to snowboarding because it seemed like all of my friends were doing it. So, and so it's been a really long time since I've gotten on skis, but I wish I could give it a try. Regardless, I'm just so happy Willow was up for going again, and it's fun to see them out on the mountain. Did you have fun? Yeah. How many times did you go? See, eight. eight. You went eight times? We had so much fun, huh? We you fell must down, have. We got back up. We went really, really fast and slow, huh? Blow on it. Okay, blow on it. Daddy decided to hit the slopes again. He has about 30 minutes left on this pass, so he's gonna take advantage of it. I'm sure he's gonna be exhausted by the end of the day. But Willa and I are very happy to be in here, huh? Is it warm in here? So Willa's got some hot chocolate, and I've got germ canoodle, and then this is with like a vanilla sauce. So I'm really excited. I'm not exactly sure what's sprinkled on the top, but it's like a crushed, very, very finely crushed something. I'm excited, I'm expecting it to be sweet. Every time I get a vanilla sauce, I always love it. <laughs> Should we try? I'm going Ooh. to like it. It's a really cool texture, huh? It's like very soft. Oh, yummy! Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice. I'm going to do this so hopefully you can see. Like the texture is like dense, but like soft. Like it's got a little bounce with it. Mm. It's a good brown. Yeah. Get some of that sauce. Should we do it at the same time? The sauce is really sweet. My, my hot chocolate is really sweet. It is sweet. Mommy, I'm going to try this with you. Okay, you tell me. My chocolate is really sweet and really yummy. And my canoodle is sweet, not overly and sweet though. My hot chocolate is really black. Really, the sweetness is coming from the vanilla sauce, although the bread still has it. It's like a sweet bread. Almost kind of reminds me of like a cake bread. A cake bread? Mm hmm I love cake. <laughs> me too. Let's see what this on the top is. I'm getting poppy seed vibes that have been like crushed finely. Maybe oh, mixed with some seeds? sugar. Yeah, that's what I think it kind of tastes like. So we cut it in half and there's something inside. I'm guessing it's kind of like a marmalade. I haven't tried it yet. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Definitely sweet, but it's still got some tartness to it. It's really nice. I like it. This is fun. 
What? Yeah. We actually tried to get this over a year ago when we went to Regensburg, but the restaurant unfortunately was closed, and so this is our first time trying it ever. We saw it once at the Bayreuth Christmas Market, again over a year ago, but we were trying so many new things that we passed up on this. Finally, skiing in Austria, we're able to try the canoe. Skiing in Austria, mom did the canoe, and we What's daddy doing? I think he's snowing. He's skiing, huh? We finally got the snow. Oh, I know, finally. And we're done. I forget how uncomfortable ski boots are. We woke up here for our final morning. It snowed a couple inches. It's absolutely beautiful here with the church in the background. All of the forests and the evergreens are just caked with snow. We're leaving close from our hotel and we're going to walk to go see Crimmel Falls. Say, call out. Well, I'm really impressed. It's like 8 a.m. and this road has been plowed. We've seen a couple of people's footprints and a couple of animals' footprints, but other than that, I think we're probably one of the first ones up. It is beautiful here. We passed a sign that said it was a national park, so really cool as well. We passed a little gated area. It says, come in at your own risk. It's not been snow plowed, although it looks like some sort of tracks have been up here, maybe trying to push the snow. This has quite the uphill at the end. Hoping it doesn't do something to labor. Just kidding, I should not joke about that. We've seen some views of the waterfall and from what we've seen, it looks pretty. Has it ever been better than this moment I'm with you? In the weather, it's shelter and risk. It's always a simple truth. You're my measure by letter, my wish list. All I could write. Well, we made it, and what a view it is. You have the option to stand where I am near the panorama trail, or you can go up to see a different view of the waterfalls. We made it about halfway up the vertical climb, but Willow is starting to get cold. So we decided to not push our luck and come back here. This is a really popular spot during the summer, but as you can see, the views are breathtaking here during the winter. In European style, there's also a restaurant once you make it up here, and it looks like there's a lot of traditional Austrian food. Before coming here, when I was looking online, it looks like you can do an alpaca hike. Also on Wednesdays, you can join a tour to do a torchlit hike up to the waterfall. What makes these waterfalls unique is that this is Europe's largest waterfalls. It's pretty incredible. It's over three different stages and it's just shy of 400 meters tall. Pretty incredible. It's beautiful here with a white backdrop and there are pictures online if it gets cold enough during the winter time where it freezes over. It's still an incredible stay here in Krimmel. Seeing the waterfalls, getting to go and ski, tobogganing, we've loved it. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. It's been fun taking you with us to Austria and also taking you on our last overnight adventure as a family of three. So stay tuned for future videos. We're hoping to get in a couple day trips before baby joins us, maybe even making our way to the Czech Republic. If you haven't hit the like button or the subscribe button, do so now, that means so much to us. See you guys on the next video. Has it ever been better than this moment I'm with you in the weather and shelter and